Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the CBC Radio Show, and I am saying this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. I tell you, I am excited about the Christian Business Connection and all that God has done, all he's doing, and all he's going to do. I'm telling you, friends, we have a powerful program for you today. I know that some things are going to be spoken into your life, some things that are going to make a difference, some things that are going to inspire you, some things that are just going to be of a great blessing. Huh? Can, can you receive that? Just say, I'm going to get a great blessing this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that means that you have an expectancy. You're expecting something good. You're expecting something great. I know that I am. Well, friends, I tell you on the program this morning, we have Donna Marie Sanders of Donna Marie Realty. And she's going to talk about some great things in the housing market and some great opportunities for you first time new buyers. And also so just some information to to help you out. How about that? Donna Marie Realty. She's going to be here this morning. And then we're going to be speaking with Reverend Alonzo Griffin, the marketing director of Old Henry's Restaurant. I tell you, Old Henry's has got some great things going on for holiday specials. And you are just in time listening to this broadcast to hear all of the great details. And then we're going to be speaking this morning with Mrs. Vanessa Cox of Epics LLC. She's going to talk about the great services that she has. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Don't miss that. And I tell you, friends, I got some special things to talk about, to speak directly into your life. Are you ready for that? I believe, I believe that you are because, you know, the Bible is clear when it says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. I guess I want to ask you, what has been spoken into your life, your business, your ministry? Has it all been positive? Maybe not. But I got some things this morning to speak directly into your life that are going to bless you. If you believe Believe the word of God, then in advance, you know already that you are being blessed. The words that I'm going to speak into your life are going to be a blessing to you. Well, look, I'm going to take a short break right here. And when I come back, I'm going to be talking about preparation, purpose and promises. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the Christian Business Connection Holiday Evening of Synergy Networking Event Thursday, December 10th at the Coffee House at Shaw, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove. This exciting evening will include great networking, great food, fun, fellowship, and more. Tickets are $20. Ask how your business can be featured. Get your tickets today. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. An evening of synergy. Expect greatness when we come together on one accord. Cord. Good morning, St. Louis. This is Marsha Williams, founder and artistic director for Gifted Productions. On Saturday, December 12th at 6 p.m. at the 560 Music Center, located on Trinity Avenue, we will be presenting The Unhappy Toy Shop. It's a colorful holiday musical designed for entertainment for the entire family. Tickets will be $10, general admission. Seats are first come, first serve. For additional information, you can call area code 314-352-4857 or visit our website at www.giftedproductions.org. Again, that is December 12th, 6 p.m. at the 560 Music Center, the Unhappy Toy Shop. Don't miss it. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, I'm very passionate about what I'm getting ready to talk about because, you know, here we are. We're at the end of 2015. My goodness. We are right here at the end. And we're going to go into the month of December very soon. And then it's going to be 2016. I want to talk with you for a brief time this morning about preparation, Purpose and promises, the three P's. So preparation, purpose and promises. You know, uh, we often do not prepare. 
All right. I'm talking to the masses. I'm not talking to the ones who do that. Don't get offended that I just said you don't prepare. I'm talking about the masses. And in general, most people don't do the best job that they could of preparing. Now, we prepare uh, we may lay our clothes out the night before we we prepare. Let's say it's snowing outside and, you know, we take the time to, you know, clean the car off. Whatever you do on a regular basis or that you do that comes to your mind when I say prepare, you know what that is. But I'm talking about are you preparing for everything? Are you preparing for life? Are you preparing for your day? Are you preparing for next week? What are you really preparing for? All right. Are you preparing to live with the Lord forever? Are you preparing? Are you thinking about your salvation? I mean, let's just put it all out on the table. What are you preparing for? Even this morning, what are you preparing for? Are you preparing for this afternoon? Are you preparing for church as you listen to this message this morning? Are you preparing to go to the next place? What are you preparing for? What are you not preparing for? What should you be preparing for? (laughs) Okay, for those of you who are preparing for what you already know is wrong or that you shouldn't be doing. But because the flesh wants to do it, you're still preparing. You're still thinking about going forth. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about this morning, Sister Nona. Can we just get to an interview? No, God gave me this to talk to you about Preparation, your purpose and the promises. You see, when we prepare, when we prepare, when we think about it, when we don't just go off the cuff, where we just don't, you know, throw our seeds out anywhere. We're making a conscious decision that we are going to prepare and we're making a a conscious decision. Perhaps if you have sought the Lord, all right, seeking him, which is what we should do in all our ways, we should acknowledge him so he can direct our path. And as we seek the Lord for direction in this preparation, as we seek the Lord as we decide on what we're going to write down, how we're going to make the vision plain. That's what we have to do. We have to seek him. You see, we're getting ready to go into a new year. And I believe that there are some things that have gone on in 2015 in your life that you do not want to take with you even into December, even into 2016. I believe I'm right about that. So now is the time. And maybe you've started doing some things already. That's great. Maybe I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to the person this morning who has not prepared for much thus far. (laughs) All right. Time is not standing still, my friends. It is moving. And I do believe you'll agree with me that time is rapidly moving. It's not waiting for you. It's not waiting for you. It is rapidly moving. You know, I hear the Lord saying this morning that, you know, God is in the wind. You know, God is moving. He's moving. He's a he's a moving God. He's a he's a miraculous God. He is a wonderful God. And you know, when I thought about the wind this morning, as when I came out of the house and the wind was, it was moving and it was, it it seemed like it was just moving rapidly. All right. I heard the Lord say that I am in the wind, that I am moving. There are some things that he's doing in your life for you and through you. And he's moving. And guess what, friends? He needs you to catch up. (laughs) How about that? Are you behind? What are you behind? And are you behind in your preparation? Let me tell you, you need to catch up because God is moving. He's doing things in the background. He's doing things in the front. He's doing things all around you. And it's all for your purpose. Hallelujah. It is for your purpose. Remember, I said I'm talking briefly about preparation, purpose and promises. And these things that are happening, he's doing it for a purpose in your life. All right. You see, you need to know your purpose. You need to know your purpose. Is your purpose just simply getting up in the morning, going to work, coming home, getting up in the morning, going to work, coming home? Oh, surely there's more purpose for your life than that. And, you know, it's right here where I encourage you to get in God's word, to determine your purpose, to seek him, to let him speak to you. Perhaps you know your purpose already. Hallelujah. I believe that there are some more things. There are some more things that God is calling you to do. Think about it. What has he called you to do that you know is your purpose, but simply you haven't done it yet? 
Time is moving. God is in the wind. The wind is moving, my friends. The wind is blowing. Catch up. Jump in. However you have to do it. Repent and say, Lord, I I haven't moved. I haven't done what you told me to do when you told me to move. But God, I'm ready. I'm ready to move, God. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to truly 100% be about your business. Oh, I know I got some folks this morning who can relate to what I'm saying on that. And then we go to the promises. Hallelujah. The promises. You say, Sister Nona, how can I find out the promises that God has for me? Get in his word. Get in his word. You see, there's a corporate word and there's an individual word in the word of God. And he has specific promises for you, you know, and he says that all his promises are yea and amen. Hallelujah. All of his promises. Oh, yeah. Yea and amen. You see, friends, let me tell you what a man also means and there's some of you of course you know what it means but for those who don't or let me remind you it means simply so be it and it is so all right it's the seal on it the amen is the seal on the prayer it's the seal on the petition it's the seal on the promises hallelujah and God is a man who will not lie he can't lie it's not in his DNA oh it's all through ours but not in his his DNA he cannot lie he cannot fail hallelujah Hallelujah. And so as I'm talking to you this morning about preparation, purpose and promises, don't just hear me, but hear me. Let this go into your spirit. I'm so grateful. And as a preacher, I sometimes preach and I know preachers, you know this. Sometimes you can preach to folks and, you know, you're like, it's, it's, it looks like it's going in and out, but the word will not come back void. So when I'm speaking, I'm not just speaking to your flesh. I'm speaking to your spirit this morning to let you know time is moving. The wind is blowing, y'all. Jump in. <laughs> Jump in. It's time. It's past time. It's beyond time because you have a purpose and you have promises that God has spoken in your life. But there's a preparation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for all that God has spoken to you in your life? Are you ready? I hope you are because now is the time. It's not, oh, when I get it together. Mm -mm, No, that'll never, don't do that one. All right. It is now the time because only through the Holy Ghost can you quote get it together all right you can't do it by yourself he is the only one who can make this thing happen you simply have to be obedient simply be obedient do I have anybody this morning listening to the CBC radio show where you're tired of doing it yourself You're tired of decisions that have not been fruitful, but you simply want to seek the Lord. You know how the wrestlers say, I give, you know, they're in a wrestling match and they say, I give, (laughs) I give, I give up. Let me tell you something. You're in the right place because it's not you, it's him. You're in a good place to be. So as we are preparing in these last weeks in 2015, as we are preparing, seeking the Lord for guidance, where we are, where we're going and where we want to go in 2016. Now is the time to understand preparation, purpose, and promises. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Preparation, purpose, and promises. It's all there waiting for you. Glory to God. And you know, when you seek him, he's going to meet your needs. He's going to give you the answers exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think. Does anybody want those types of blessings, that type of abundance this morning? I know you do. Exceedingly and abundantly more than what you can ask or think. All right, that's good news this morning. That was good news. Well, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. And when we come back, we're going to be talking with Donna Marie Sanders of Donna Marie Realty. And she's going to further speak about her business. And she's got some good news to share with you as well. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the Christian Business Connection Holiday Evening of Synergy Networking Event Thursday, December 10th at the Coffee House at Shaw, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove. This exciting evening will include great networking, great food, fun, fellowship, and more. Tickets are $20. Ask how your business can be featured. Get your tickets today. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. An evening of Synergy. Expect greatness when we come together on one accord. 
Good morning. This is Deborah Mothershed Black, author of the exciting new book, Where Art Thou? Do you know what time and season it is in your life? Are you positioned in one place and your blessing is somewhere else? Journey with me as I address some of the challenges and issues that transpire and cause stagnation on the road of life. Get your copy of Where Art Thou? at my website of www.debrambbooks.com. That's D-E-B-R-A-M-B-Books.com. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking with a dear friend of mine and the Christian Business Connection. I'm so excited to have in our studio, Miss Donna Marie Sanders of Donna Marie Realty, LLC. Good morning. Good morning, Nona. Well, you know... The question I'm going to ask, I ask everybody who comes on the program, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is definitely the day the Lord has made. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are, we, are you rejoicing? Oh, yes, I am. You happy? Yo, yes, I am. All right. God is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> he, he really is. And I tell you, the Lord has done such great things with you and your business, which sometimes probably turns into a ministry as well, doesn't it? It does. It does. It really does. Because... Mm-hmm. Uh, when I'm working with clients, a lot of times they don't always need their home sold. They mm-hmm. really just need somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, when we get through talking, we'll determine whether or not that is the best mm-hmm. decision that they need to make. Mm-hmm. You know, so people are going through certain things and different things. Yes. and um, they think they may have to sell their home, but uh, there may be other alternatives. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about that, too. You know, and what you're saying really is part of the free real estate counseling uh, sessions that you give. And I tell you that that I know I hear folks say they do things, but that really is unique. What that tells me is that you care about your clients. Am I right? Well, definitely, uh, because especially if it's a first time home buyer or if it's a person who hasn't bought in quite some time, mm-hmm. uh, things have changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, the process of buying a home has changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lending process has changed. Mm-hmm. And so my thing is I like to at least sit down with the client before we go, you know, out home shopping mm-hmm. uh, or put the home on the market. Mm-hmm. I like to go and sit down and talk with them. And this real estate counseling session takes at least an hour and a half to two hours. And so I go over the entire process of what it actually takes to purchase or sell your home. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you're very qualified to do that uh, because you've been been in real estate, oh my goodness, how many years now? Oh, over 11 years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you've seen the changes. You've seen how the ball rolls and some some things that maybe have been applicable, as you said, years ago just aren't now. Mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. I actually started in real estate in 2004. Mm-hmm. Um, I came from the restaurant industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was one of the many businesses anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've been an entrepreneur for probably over 30 years. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, straight out of the uh D. Marie, uh, the supper club that I had. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I went into the real estate business. Yes. And so I've been in it since 2004, and things, uh, we had the crash, I think the, the 2008 crash, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it just kind of messed uh, the entire world <laughs> up for real. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, homes are selling mm. uh, very quickly. Ooh. Um, We've, That's good news for somebody listening right now oh, who's yes. thinking about selling their home. Yes, yes. Again, their home has to be in sellable condition now. Sure, you can, sure. I mean, you can just put it on the market in any kind of condition, but don't expect to get the top dollar for it. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And see, now, just that right there is part of the counseling, part of the advice that you're giving people when you sit down mm-hmm. with them, right? Oh, yes, because we have different uh, steps that we go through. Mm-hmm. Uh with a buyer mm-hmm. when it's, you know, when it's, they're uh, looking for a home, mm-hmm. um, you know, we have a c- couple different contracts. You know, we have the residential sales contract. We have the special sales contract. Sure. And so we try to help the buyer understand uh, what those contracts entail, because mm-hmm. if it's a special sales contract, those properties are mostly being sold as is mm-hmm. and the seller's not doing any 
inspections or repairs or anything like that. And most of the time, those properties are your bank owns, your foreclosures, Mm -hmm. and most of the time, your short sales as well. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, Donna. Uh, Of course, your specialty is in um, residential, but what about the business? What about clients who are looking for buildings, you know, for their business, et cetera, or their ministry? Oh, definitely. Uh, Commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, I just helped a church um, find a building uh, just a couple of months ago. Wow. Uh, for their church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it was, mm-hmm. I'm glad you said that because uh-huh. we definitely have uh, pastors and and, uh, and the congregation that are listening and they need to know that there's somebody here who can mm-hmm. help them mm-hmm. find that church or that new property. Mm-hmm. And this would be whether it's a uh, perhaps a storefront or a freestanding building. That's correct. Right? That is correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, most of the time with a storefront, you're actually leasing at that point with a storefront. Okay. You know, so there's different language in the leasing uh, okay. contract and all that good stuff. And but, you can uh, help with all that. I can. Mm-hmm. Good, Certainly. good. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing I also wanted to touch on, because we talked about the market changing and all of that, you know, uh, in, in your opinion, as you have watched the wave, you've, you've watched how it's gone, is now really the, one of the best times after this fall in the market years ago is now the time to just strike and move and interest rates and all that good stuff down in your in your personal opinion oh it definitely it is um one thing about it is uh <laughs> the last couple of winters mm-hmm. it's actually been busy uh mm-hmm. buyers have been buying through november december january and mm-hmm, february mm-hmm. so it's you know it's really always a good time to buy uh, i believe it's personal preference whether you want to buy mm-hmm. in the winter because mm-hmm. you have to think about what the weather is going to be like when it's time to move. Sure, sure. So you have to deal with the snow, the rain or whatever. Or some people want to get in uh, for the holidays, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas, uh, you know. So uh, it's always a good time to buy. It's just that you have to decide on your personal preference if you want to move in the wintertime. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, we're talking this morning with Miss Donna Marie Sanders of Donna Marie Realty LLC. And I tell you, she's got some keys to selling your home. Donna, before we go further, because I know somebody right now is going, well, how can I get in contact with this lady because I need some help with my house and just some information. How can you be reached? Well, you can actually call me. Um, I'm very reachable. Mm -hmm. You can call me at 314-555 zero three one three three or you can visit my website mm-hmm. at www.dmrealty.info and that's d as in donna m as in marie dm realty r-e-a-l-t-y dot info i-n-f-o gotcha give us your phone number one more time would you three one four five five zero three one three three Great, great, great. Now, I know also, uh, Donna, you are a military relocation professional. Tell mm-hmm. us about that. Well, um, actually, with VA, um, oh, it's a great program mm-hmm. for veterans. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to still, again, you still have to qualify. Mm-hmm. Uh, your credit still has to be at a certain rate. Okay. And so the VA loan is 100% loan for veterans. So they don't have to put anything down. Wow. With FHA, you have to put down at least three and a half percent. And with conventional, sometimes five and 10 percent. So VA is 100 percent loan. Wow. Now, that's enough for a phone call to talk to you more about that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is yes, wonderful. It is. It's a fantastic program for it the is. veterans. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one of your slogans is the power of a great realtor. And that's important, the power of a great realtor. Why, Donna? Well, it's important because I love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, God gives me the power to do what I need to do. Mm. Mm-hmm. Simply. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Going back a few paragraphs, you have been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. That's correct. Truly, you could not have done that and still be doing that without the power of God. Am I right? That's right. That is certainly (laughs) right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's really an inspiration because I know there are people listening right now and you are thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or you are you know, perhaps in your destiny and your calling right now, but you know, there are challenges. How do you handle those challenges and those ups and downs, Donna? Well, the challenges, I, I, I pray about them. Mm-hmm. You know, I pray about them um, and I talk to God about them. 
And he gives me my direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Simply, he gives you your mm-hmm. direction. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, but one thing about an entrepreneur, the passion and the, the drive, it is so deep down on the inside where, you know, yeah, you, you might get knocked down, but you're going to keep getting up and keep getting up. And so with that, because you've lived this life, just, you know, give some encouragement to uh someone who is thinking about becoming an entrepreneur mm-hmm. or who currently may be in mm-hmm. that role? Well, if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, uh, one thing you have to remember is even though it is your own business, you still work for the client mm-hmm. and you have to make the client happy. It's about customer service mm-hmm. and making the client happy. Mm-hmm. And so it's not always about going on your schedule, mm-hmm. but you have to go on the client schedule as well. <laughs> You're right about that. It's not yeah. all about you. It's about the services. And also, isn't it about doing your uh, uh, your job unto excellence? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because what I have found, Donna, is sometimes, you know, like the world, uh, they want to just do enough to get by or just mediocre. But that's not the calling of the Christian. Mm -mm, Not at all. You're supposed to give your best, your very best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and truly, that's what you've been doing for over 30 years and whatever you do. I I wouldn't say exactly over 30 years. I had to go through some things to get there. (laughs) (laughs) Haven't we all? I had to go through some things to get there. But I finally made it and have realized that... uh, God has control over everything, and uh, as long as you put him first. There was a time that he was not first in my early years of uh, becoming an entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. and I I struggled Mm -hmm. to -hmm. get there. But now I'm at a point where I understand who butters my bread, I guess you can say Mm -hmm. it, (laughs) and who's in control Mm -hmm. of what happens. And so, um, you know, it, it, it was a struggle. But I've come to a point where God has really put me in position to be blessed. Hallelujah. We can mm-hmm. we can put a pen right there mm-hmm. and shout, thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes, so thank you. what excites you as we're going into 2016? What are you looking forward to in uh, your business of Donna Marie Realty and, and just also in, in, in the market and all of that as we're going into 2016? Well, 2016, uh, again, the rates are low. Uh, it's still a, a very good time to buy. Mm-hmm. Um, we just have some new changes that took place on October 1st as far mm-hmm. as the lending mm-hmm. uh, side, uh, which will affect the, uh, you know, the, the real estate side as well when it comes to closing dates and time frames and things like that. Mm-hmm. So we are um, getting acclimated into the new changes, but I believe they're, they're all for the best and mm-hmm. they're all better for the consumer. Yes. Okay. So that's uh, the plan that Obama had put in place mm-hmm. to uh, to protect the consumer. Yes. To, I'm sorry. To protect the consumer mm-hmm. uh, when we had the crash in 2008. So they they took place starting October 1st. That's good news. And so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good news. Yeah. So uh, 2016 is going to be a great, great, great. Blessed for year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, yes. I, I received that. I think now if anybody listening, if you understand spiritual things, you remember, I believe I said somewhere in the program that death and life is in the power of a tongue. I, I hope that you received that blessing. You say 2016 is going to be a great and successful year. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, I tell you, Donna, we're just about out of time. Give us your contact information again and anything else that you want to say from your heart this morning. Okay. Well, my contact information is um, Donna Marie Realty. I'm at 314-550-3133. And what I want to tell you is that if you don't know the Lord, you need to try to really get to know the Lord because he he has all power. All power is in his hands. And so when you really realize that it is God who controls everything you do, you will begin to understand and get it, and your business will start to prosper. Amen. You know, one of your uh, uh, one of your slogans, Donna, is trusting God for everything you do is the best you can do. The best you can do. Amen. Mm-hmm. Well, I tell you, it's been a blessing to have you on the program today, my friend. Thank you, Nona, for having me. And I know 2016 is going to be outstanding. But you know what also, Donna? I heard the Lord saying that he's not finished with 2015. All right? No, he's so not. So we're not going to step over yet because yeah. we still got many more blessings and miracles for him to do. Do you agree with me? I agree. <laughs> All right. Again, thank you, Donna Marie Sanders of Donna Marie Realty, LLC. Give her a call at 314-550-3133. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Nona. All right. We're going to take a short break right here. And when we come back, well, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you what's going to happen when we come back. You just got to come back.
Don't miss the Christian Business Connection Holiday Evening of Synergy Networking Event Thursday, December 10th at the Coffee House at Shaw, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove. This exciting evening will include great networking, great food, fun, fellowship, and more. Tickets are $20. Ask how your business can be featured. Get your tickets today. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. An evening of Synergy. Expect greatness when we come together on one accord. Hi, I'm Donna Marie, the broker, owner of Donna Marie Realty. I am here to help you sell or buy a home or commercial building. There are down payment programs to help you with a home if you qualify. If you're going through a hardship, I also specialize in short sales. You may visit our website at www dmrealty.info. For a free real estate counseling session, call me, Donna Marie, at 314-550-3133. That is 314-550-3133. The number again is 314-550-3133. Again, you may visit our website at www.dmrealty.info. Dot info. I am looking forward to hearing from you and happy holidays and a prosperous new year to you all. Good morning, St. Louis. This is Marsha Williams, founder and artistic director for Gifted Productions on Saturday, December 12th at 6 p.m. at the 560 Music Center located on Trinity Avenue. We will be presenting the Unhappy Toy Shop. It's a colorful holiday musical designed for entertainment for the entire family. Tickets will be $10, general admission. Seats are first come, first serve. For additional information, you can call area code 314-352-4857 or visit our website at www.giftedproductions.org. Again, that is December 12th, 6 p.m. at the 560 Music Center, the Unhappy Toy Shop. Don't miss it. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to be talking about Old Henry Restaurant this morning, the talk of the town. We're so blessed to have on our program this morning, Reverend Alonzo Griffin, the marketing director of Old Henry Restaurant, and Mr. Dickie Doc Eddins, who is the head cook at Old Henry. So we're so blessed to have you on the program. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good. Y'all said that in unison. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, you know, uh, Reverend Griffin, you know what I'm going to ask you, okay? And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes, yes. How you feel about that, Doc? Uh, I feel very good about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, I tell you, on Sunday, here we are talking about Old Henry, and this is the day. Uh, of course, all days are the day to come to Old Henry, but y'all got a spread today, don't you? Tell us about it. Uh, on Sunday, we got uh, our uh, turkey dressing. We got our candy yams. We got our cabbage. We got green. We got uh, green beans. Uh, we do our smoked turkey wings, smoked turkey legs. Uh, we also do our work from our smokehouse menu, and we have barbecue ribs, barbecue rib tips, and uh, we also have uh, meatloaf and uh, gravy. We have all sorts of uh, Sunday items, you mac sh- and cheese and cabbage, too. Don't forget, those are standards. But you say that, that, that mac and cheese, and that's Lady A's, Lady Ada's uh, Lady mac Ada. and cheese, right? Lady Ada's famous mac and cheese. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I got to talk about the holiday specials that you got, Reverend Griffin, because you uh-huh. all have some packages available, and folks still have time to get their Thanksgiving and their holiday dinners from you. So tell us about those. Well, you, you, have, you have just a couple more days before we stop taking orders. So we have the two whole smoked chicken wings. I mean, chickens, the whole chickens, right, Doc? Right, the whole chicken. The whole chicken uh, with two quart sizes, one dessert of your choice, and our desserts are fabulous. We got, I'll tell you about the desserts in a minute, and six dinner rolls, and that feeds up to four to six people. So we have the turkey, we have the sliced ham, and we have our ultimate feast, which is turkey and ham, five quarts, two whole desserts, 24 rolls, all for one phenomenal price. 
My goodness. You mean we can feed the whole big family off that ultimate feast? Uh, you can't feed my family with it because I got a big family, but <laughs> you can feed about 10 to 12 people with this one. Wow, wow. Now, I know um, that you have, in fact, give us the, you've got four different selections. Give us every one starting at the top, would you? All right. On our uh, specials for the holiday, our number one special will be two whole smoked chicken, two quarts of sides. One dessert of your choice, six dinner rolls. That feeds two to four people. That's at $49. Our number two offers a 10 to 12 pound smoked turkey, three quarts of size. One dessert of your choice, 12 dinner rolls. That feeds six to eight people at $89. Our number three is an eight pound sliced ham, two quarts of size. One dessert of your choice, 12 dinner rolls, that feeds four to six people. And then our number four is our ultimate feast. Uh, it comes with one 10 to 12 pound smoked turkey, 10 pound sliced ham, five quarts of side, two desserts of your choice, 24 dinner rolls, and that feeds 10 to 12 people. Wow. You know what I love about this, Reverend Griffin, is the fact that, you know, not only is the food there, it's it's home. I mean, it's, it's, it's real food. It's not processed. It's not coming out of a microwave, okay? And the fact that it's so convenient to come and pick it up. Am I right? It's very convenient. I had to pull Doc out from making it. He complaining right now because he got to talk to you because he want to be back there making the food. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, we want to hear it from the from the source. Now, Doc, you need to tell us because see, there is a difference between stuffing and dressing. So tell us which one does Old Henry have in these specials? <laughs> Uh, the old Henry, we, we're doing dressing in our fashion. That's right. And and let me tell you, you know, de- dressing is a delicacy, all right? Now, I know y'all do it up, don't you? Uh, we do the best we can, and uh, we've getting lots and lots of praises on it. Yes, yes. Tell us about the other sides that come with those uh, those specials, uh, Reverend Griffin. On the other side we have, we have the lady mac and cheese. You have a choice of green beans, dressing, greens. That's a mixed green, right, Doc? Right. We got uh, turnip and collard greens in there. Turnip and collard green mix. We have our sweet buttery corn, our cabbage, black eyed peas. We have our northern beans. You can do a tossed salad. You can do a pasta salad. You can do a coleslaw. You can do honey glazed carrots. Or you can do mashed potatoes, spaghetti, or muscatoli. Oh, my goodness. Can, can, can I get all of that? Is, can you get it all? <laughs> <laughs> your credit card can hold it all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what you say? What you say? <laughs> well, I tell you, even on this Sunday morning, you know, you and we're talking about those holiday specials, but it's early in the morning, and we're talking about some great things at Old Henry's. Tell us, what are the hours that people can come by? And I believe that today, on this Sunday and Monday, are the last days that they can order for the holiday. Is that right? That's right. You have to the end of business day on Monday to get your holiday orders in. So we expect everyone to come in and place your orders. Now we do ask, the reason why we say that we need 72 hours to prepare all this goodness for you up front. Mm-hmm. And so that's the reason why we have to cut ours off at a certain day. We already have about 10 or 15 orders waiting. They Everybody be here to pick it up on Wednesday. Uh, today's hours are from 10 to 6. So come on by. Doc will be here in the back. Uh, yelling at us, talking about get my line together. So <laughs> <laughs> we here. Doc, so, Doc, Doc, Doc is the magic hand. Him and Chuck, man, they they they're the reason why this restaurant is the way it is. So I can't praise them enough and give them enough honor. You know what I mean? Indeed. And you know, I have to say, I I eat there frequently. I've never. Let me repeat that. I've never had a bad meal. Everything's quality. Everything is delicious. In fact. You guys have daily specials. Now, who wants to take the ball and tell us about that? Well, I got the daily specials. Uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, is back, is back to work Mondays. That's when Dr. Do, uh, uh, do maybe a pulled chicken or pulled pork. Uh, uh, it's, it's, really, it's really a leftover type day. It's really not leftovers, but it's the stuff that we need to get off our shelves. And that's, you know, it's like a potluck Monday almost. Uh, uh, and so he have some, you, you, the same thing you have on Sunday, you may have on a Monday. That's a back-to-work Monday. We have our Tasty Tuesdays, our Way Back Wednesday. That's where our neck bones and liver and onions come into play. And our Black Eyed Peas, right, Doc? All right, Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas. And then our Italian Thursdays is Doc's famous 
Italian grilled chicken. If y'all haven't had this grilled Italian chicken breast, uh, doctor taught me a lot about grill marks. It's got the perfect grill marks on it and everything. That is delicious. And try it with the marinara sauce. That's our Italian Thursday. And then, of course, we have our Seafood Friday. We have about seven to eight different types of seafood items you can get. Fish, that is, fresh fish products. And then we come to our Smokehouse Saturday. That's when our Smokehouse plays a big part in our buffet. And then our Soulful Sunday Brunch, which you can come out today and get. My goodness. Can, can I go back to Wednesday? Uh-huh. Let me say the liver and onions. I know I got some old school folks out there who love liver and onions. It is simply delicious. Doc, how you do that so good? Uh, it's a kind of a, like a dark secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the, okay. The key, the key is not overcooking the liver. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, I don't know what your keys or what your secrets <laughs> are, but you know, you keep them because it is absolutely delicious. Now that's old school talking right there. Everybody, you know, <laughs> it, but if you love liver and onions, you got to go to old Henry's. So here we are again, in case anybody is coming in and they miss what you got on that Sunday buffet today. Tell Tell us again what you're featuring on that Sunday d- buffet today. On the uh, Sunday buffet, we're featuring the smoked turkey legs, smoked turkey wings, dressing, fried chicken, Lady A's macaroni and cheese, greens, cabbage, green beans, uh, candy yams, uh, just a number and assortment of things. Wow. Wow. Plus, I- I- don't forget Miss Linda's delicious desserts. Now, we can't forget about her. We're going to have our pound cake, our fusion cakes, which is maybe a red velvet and a, and a lemon cake combined, which is delicious. And her famous uh, pecan pie and her uh, sweet, potato pie. sweet potato pie and banana pudding. Sorry. Uh, okay. I got to put a pin in that fusion cake. It is ridiculous. It is so good. (laughs) So good. Now, I also want to say that now I know that, you know, on your Sundays, let's say the family, you know, they want to stay in, but they can have their Sunday meal catered as well, can't they? Yeah, we we can cater on Sunday. Sunday is basically our our busiest day. And so uh, if you call us 72 hours in advance, we can we can have it boxed up for you and panned up for you, and you'll be ready to pick it up on Sunday. If you want, if you want to uh, eat at home, old Henry at home, we can do that for you also. I like that. That's the that's a slogan. Old Henry at home. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it. It doesn't matter if you're at home, if you're in the restaurant, just as long as you get some old Henry. Is that right? As long as you come by old Henry and give us a try. <laughs> and I, I want to say this: we're, we're not trying to beat anybody in St. Louis. We're just trying to be the best old Henrys we can be. That's it. That's it. And you all are doing an excellent, excellent job. Now, tell us about breakfast. I was there recently for breakfast, and I had the veggie omelet, which was so good. Everything was perfect. Tell us about that breakfast menu, because you guys open at 8 a.m. Yes, yes uh, we uh, run breakfast from 8 a.m. Uh, to 10.30 a.m., and uh, that's um, every day of the week except for Sunday. And uh, you can come in, like you said, you can get the veggie omelet. We uh, feature a Godfather's omelet, which is, has Italian sausage in it, mushroom, basil, sweet bell pepper, and uh, mozzarella cheese. We also run a meat lover's omelet. We can do an egg white omelet. We can do cheese omelets. We also have like a breakfast skillet, which features like uh, potatoes, peppers, and onions, uh, scrambled egg on top with cheese. Uh, we also features uh, uh, biscuits and gravy, shrimp and grits, chicken and waffles. Oh, my goodness. Uh, in and, other words, old Henry has just about everything. Am, am I on the right right planet there? On the right planet. <laughs> and we also, uh, if anybody's seen the new commercial, we do have that donut breakfast sandwich also. That is delicious, too. So come in on uh, during the week, uh, Monday through Saturday, and you get that delicious donut breakfast sandwich. It may not sound good. But it's delicious. Trust me. Oh my goodness! What what do you put on that, Doc? What is? Tell us about that sandwich. How does that work? Well, it comes with like a glazed donut. It comes with a egg, fried egg, and uh, your choice of either bacon or sausage, or you can get bacon and sausage on that. Oh, my goodness. Come on, y'all. Old Henry's is doing it. Well, I tell you, we're just about out of time. Uh, Reverend Griffin, tell us where you're located and give us those hours and your phone number again. We're located at 8600 Airport Road. Uh, our phone number is 314-736-6800. Our hours are Monday through Saturday, 8 to 8, Sunday 10 to 6.
Now, I'm going to let you go ahead, Doc, and, and uh, give us your final thoughts or things that you want folks to know about old Henry. And then I'm going to ask you as well, Reverend Griffin, to close us out. So, Doc, go right ahead and just give us your thoughts on old Henry. Well, hey, old Henry, we want you to know the food is tailor-made. Everything is made fresh daily. And uh, Chuck and I are here seven days a week, uh, you know, for the people's pleasure. All right. I love it. For the folks' pleasure. I love it. Reverend Griffin, what's your final words? Well, my sentiment is exactly what he just said. Come on by and see what Ms. Ada has prepared for you to eat today. God bless you. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, both of you guys, for taking the time to be a part of the CBC radio show. And you'll see me one day this week coming up. I got to eat, okay? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. This is Alonzo Griffin uh, with the Old Henry's Restaurant where the food is tailor made at 8600 Airport Road in Berkeley, Missouri. Our phone number is 314. 314- 736-6800. Today's special is seafood. Tomorrow's special will be Smokehouse Saturday, and we also have our soulful Sunday brunches. So come by any day of the week. And we like to also welcome the Church of God in Christ Convocation. Hopefully you have a hallelujah and joyous time in this festivities we're about to have in St. Louis. God bless you all. Don't miss the Christian Business Connection Holiday Evening of Synergy Networking Event Thursday, December 10th at the Coffee House at Shaw, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove. This exciting evening will include great networking, great food, fun, fellowship, and more. Tickets are $20. Ask how your business can be featured. Get your tickets today. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. An evening of Synergy. Expect greatness when we come together. Together on one accord. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to be speaking this morning with Mrs. Vanessa Cox of Epics LLC. She's got some great things to tell you what the Lord is doing in her life and in her business. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Vanessa Cox. Good morning. Good morning. And you know what? I didn't script you on this question, but Mm -hmm. I ask everybody who comes on the show, and that simply is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is definitely the day that the Lord has made for me, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, girl, you got an A+. plus. That's a great answer. You did great. <laughs> well, I want to ask you, you know, there's your services, which you're going to give us details on, are so needed uh, during a time such as this. So I just want to get right to it. Tell us about EPICS LLC. So EPICS stands for Extensive Prevention Intervention Counseling Services, which is a limited liability company. It's a professional counseling service that is dedicated to just educating and empowering youth, families, and individuals through quality comprehensive counseling services. A lot of the services uh, vary. Uh, They include individual, group, family therapy, uh, substance abuse, uh, treatment options, domestic violence program, anger management, Uh, substance abuse, uh, drug education courses, as well as the court-ordered petty larceny and victim impact panel courses. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) That is extremely extensive. You know, one of the um, subjects that jumped out at me, because there's just so much uh, going on in the world and so many people are frustrated, and that was the anger management piece. Can you tell Mm -hmm. us about that a little bit? Well, I offer um, a six-week and a 10- to 12-hour anger management course. And this course is for persons who are interested, say, in improving their anger management skills, as well as individuals that are court-ordered to complete anger management uh, for domestic disturbance, uh, work-related altercations, assault, and or aggressive behaviors uh, that have contributed to legal issues. In this class, what we do is explore various anger and aggression diversion management skills with a lot of emphasis on successful approaches to resolution of uh, behavioral issues. Uh, The course is 
provided through two separate five-hour class sessions where uh, they will have an opportunity to develop at the end of this course a personal anger management plan with immediate and short and long-term goals. Uh, the class is very interactive. We do a lot of group discussions as well as some um, interactive activities. We watch a couple of videos, but uh, a lot of uh, the class is really very interactive. And the feedback that I get from a lot of the participants is that, you know, this was like the best class that they've ever taken, and they did not expect to get as much information as they did in the class. So it's been a big success. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Wow, wow. And, you know, I would think that during the holidays, the stress level, uh, sometimes anxiety, uh, loneliness, many different factors can be involved with folks who this type of course or some of the other things that you offer can really be of great benefit. Am I right? That is absolutely correct. Uh, I offer some mental health counseling for individuals who, um, during the holidays or just during any life circumstance that mm -hmm. they feel they just have difficulty coping with, I offer one-on-one -on -one counseling for those individuals. And even marital counseling, couples counseling uh, for those individuals who uh, they're going through some financial difficulties or they've lost a loved one and they just don't know how to cope and deal with the stress. Uh, we will sit down and I will develop an individual treatment plan and uh, the sessions generally are directed uh, by the participant. And, uh, yes, the sessions uh, they find are very, very beneficial for them as well. Mm -hmm. I like what you just said. You said that there's that it's individual, which means it's customized. It's not a cookie cutter because different people need different things, right? That is correct. It is uh, individualized treatment planning uh, to feed the individual's needs. And uh, that's one of our mottos is that, you know, uh, we design our program uh, to, fit, to fit the individual needs of each uh, individual that steps into our office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you mentioned that not only do you help, uh, 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 you know, you have men, women, families. Talk to us about the youth. What do you offer for, for the young people? There may be a parent who's listening or grandparent who's listening to the program this morning, and, and their, their child needs some, you know, some special help in areas. What can you offer? Well, with the children, uh, I work with children from the ages of 9 uh, to 17. Mm -hmm. And a lot of children are having uh, issues at school where they can't sit still or they have a hard time comprehending a lot of uh, the information uh, that they're getting from their teachers in school. And uh, the parents have a hard time understanding IEP. So what I do is I help the parents uh, who are having uh, problems with the school, with uh, their, the children's IEPs, understanding the IEPs. I go to the meetings. I uh, counsel with the the parent. I give them techniques that they can use at home, uh, help them to understand maybe the diagnosis that some of the children might have, like ADHD, or if they are experiencing signs and symptoms of depression, which a lot of kids, uh, they are having some of these symptoms, but not all of it is because, you know, they have mental health issues. It's possibly just due to uh, the fact that they have some mental challenges. It could be because of things that are happening in the home that the parent just might not be aware of. And so my job is to just sit down, consult with the parent, uh, talk with the children to try to assess uh, what are uh, the specific issues and to try to make a referral out if they need to go out to see a psychiatrist or if they uh, just need some one-on-one -on -one counseling. I will assess that need and, and, and work with the parent to help them to understand the process and uh, be a support system for them. Uh, that sounds wonderful because, you know, folks need hands-on care. And, and also with that, they really need to know that um, – 
who they're speaking with cares. And, and just in talking to you uh, in conversations that we have, there's one thing that just stands out to me. And I, I believe that you're a very patient person uh, when you're when you're talking with uh, your clients. I've just I've just discerned that you have great patience and that's needed that people know that someone cares that they want to actually take the time, you know, in a, in a society where everything is moving so fast to know that ev- that you want to take the time to get to the heart of the matter. That's a great thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, And, yes, I I do care. Um, I really, really am passionate about the work that I'm doing, and I feel that it's really needed in the community. And Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just so grateful that God has, you know, uh, blessed me uh, with uh, the skills and uh, the vision uh, to be able to be of support to families and to individuals. Uh, into the community who are um, in need of um, some quality, comprehensive uh, treatment options um, to help them and their families during these very difficult times. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in dealing with the headlines and the things that are going on in our communities and sometimes next door, it can be very challenging for, you know, the uh, young people to kind of get a handle on what's going on. And you can help them in that manner, along with their parents and things like that in your counseling sessions. Am I right? Uh, That is correct. Uh, We provide a variety of uh, different services. Uh, Not only do I sit down and have one-on-one, again, my counseling sessions are interactive as well. I have a variety of different hands-on material that I use. I use games, and a lot of the youth, uh, they are uh, very um, uh, in tune with social media. So Mm -hmm. I use a lot of the social media apps to try to work with uh, uh, the adolescents during these sessions and uh, try to educate them and empower them uh, as well through just providing hands-on um, activities. Uh, I think that they gain a lot more when we actually are doing things together. I even, you know, attend a lot of their uh, important um, functions, uh, basketball games. I, I go up to their schools. I um, go to their parties or different events, uh, really? recitals that they might have. Yes, I, I make sure that I'm present, and I want them to know that I'm not just uh, the counselor that sits behind the desk, but I get involved. I have community events. I reach out to them. I call them back and, you know, and invite them to community events that, you know, I'm having, uh, which I'm planning a community event at the Ferguson Community Center on December the 20th. And I invite a lot of my former clients back and going to serve Christmas dinner and have some Christmas gifts at that time. And so uh, I, I stay active in their lives even after I'm you know, they're no longer seeing me for counseling. I, I stay in their lives because I think it's it's important. Yes, you know, it, it is. It takes a village to raise um, a child. So. Surely. <laughs> it surely does. Mm-hmm. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, I'm talking with Mrs. Vanessa Cox of Epix LLC. Now, can you give us your contact information? Because not only do we have, I know, parents uh, who may be listening or perhaps educators, or pastors who want to give your services to their their family, friends, or perhaps they need them. So would you give us that information? You can reach me at Vanessa Cox, 314-524-3853 is my fax number, or you can call me at 314-409-8606 is my phone number, or you can reach me on my web at www epicscounseling.com. Give us that phone number one more time, would you? Phone number is 314-409-8606. And my web address is www.epic, that's with an S, counseling.com. And I really encourage my listeners to go to the website because there it's just no way to list all of the services and the programs that you offer, which are so extensive. And I believe they'll get even more information on how your services can be a blessing to them and perhaps somebody that they know. Don't you? 
you agree? Yes, I, I agree. We are just about out of time, but in closing, is there anything else that you'd like to say to our audience this morning? No, I would just like to say uh, thank you for this opportunity. It's been a blessing to be able to share my services and uh, just want to encourage everyone to just be proactive. Don't wait for uh, a crisis to happen. Be prepared for the crisis and and call us today at 314-409-8606. Well, you know, you would think that we talked because at the beginning of the program, I was talking about preparation, purpose, and promises. So we didn't even talk in advance about that. But surely what you do and your services and what we've talked about this morning definitely goes hand in hand with that. So I just want to say thank you for all that you're doing in the community and what you're doing for families. And it was a blessing having you on the program today. Thank you. And to all your listeners, have a happy Thanksgiving. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. It's been a blessing. Thank you for listening. As always, in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world.